104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens. I've it is Thursday, dark side of the stream. We are here. Today, my we pick. Live. Well, yeah, today was my pick. Get back from the Beatles, Man. Disney Plus. What an incredible documentary. But before we do that, we must say Hit thank you to our first show donor, show supporter. Show donor who? The person that hooked you up with the gear that actually allows you oh, to have yeah, your camera yeah, yeah. set shout up straight. Out to, shout out to one of my girls, man. Uh, <laughs> she bought me this <laughs> because this phone stand, because she said when she watches these things, my phone's always falling. So yeah, shout out, Holla Girl. Uh, Thank you for our uh, first show uh, letting us letting us take the show well, to the next second level. Second show donator, be- right? Because somebody bought me a book. Oh yeah, yeah, Huckleberry yeah, Finn. Oh book. yeah, the Huckleberry Finn book. That's that that right wasn't here. show related. Um, yeah, Dustin, thank that you was for more yeah. A memory. That was that was more to sh- to help yeah. J- Jay understand uh, what um, reading is. That there was actually a character in America. Yeah, literature shout out called our Huckleberry shows, uh, Finn, not our, Tom Finn. Huckleberry. Our show's making levels thanks to my yeah. Uh, we my actually girls. have two listeners, so thank you to both of you for listening to Dark and Side of the Stream, giving us free stuff, giving us free stuff to I'll, allow I'll, us. To I'll do work it off in sexual favors. All right. Well, so today was my pick. Get back from the Beatles, and uh, it was unbelievable. Now, before we get into this, I will uh, full disclosure: "Let It Be" is my least favorite Beatles album. I would say that that the reason that is is because I love the White Album, and then this one immediately follows that record, and it, there's even more of a separation. It really is, and in my opinion. And you really get the sense that this album was completely thrown together. And we'll get into how it ended up becoming a record and all that stuff later on down the line. But full disclosure, I didn't like that. I've never, never been. I like Let It Be because I love the Beatles. But leader, literally on the list, it's at the bottom. After watching this documentary, it has gone up. Because now that I know, and, and that's what this documentary it's, is. You're in the room yeah. with these guys while they make the record. Nine and hours. I've watched tons of Beatles documentaries, right? Huge Beatles fan. Figure, okay, whatever, another Beatles documentary. No, man, this one was riveting. I could not look away. I couldn't play poker while I did it. I couldn't do anything else as have it on as background noise because it would suck me and I'd have to keep pausing it. You wouldn't want to miss anything. Yeah. They say something you want. You're to literally like, whoa, 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 they're communicating. That? You're yeah. watching them literally toss around ideas that you know what these songs that are coming, you know where the pieces are going to end up. Goosebumps just talking about it again like, man, it's just it's, crazy it's, and just seeing the insights because at this point they were all kind of doing their own thing, going yeah. their own directions and and they were still young guys. You 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 don't you forget they're still like in their mid 20s. And it just it it blows me away the communication that they had and the way they talk to each other. And, and a new respect for Ringo. Know, I have the most up wrote respect. Ringo gained so much street cred oh, with me. Oh, dude. dude. Ringo's going to get his own segment in yeah, this. Yeah, he probably needs his Ringo's own segment. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk segment. about the ca- the different different little cast of characters that show up yeah. in this thing and Ringo in the next yeah, segment. Yeah, this is yeah. Dark Side of the Stream. Let's not blow it all just yet. Get back to I'm the I'm going to blow it. now. I'd love to just get in and out. Blow my load. I'm out. All right. Uh, I'm Dark done. Side of the Stream on, on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave. Mike, the intern. Jay Stevens back in the studio. Dark Side of the Stream discussing Get Back. By Peter Jackson. Hang on, we didn't even do our uh, theme song. Okay. We, we watch, watch movies. Documentaries so, so you don't, you don't have, have to. to. This is Dark Side of the Stream. So uh first off, let's let's get this out of the way. Props to Peter Jackson and his crew. Props. Over sixty hours of film, hundred and fifty hours of audio. They went through every bit of it to tell a story about how this album was made. The project was basically this the Beatles would get together. They'd have three weeks to write and record a record. They would do a TV show. First time they'd play live in front of an audience in like three years. Then they would produce a documentary film about the making of this thing. They gave themselves three weeks to do this. That is insane. Insane. First Um, first of all, Peter Jackson did such a good job, not only restoring the audio and video, but he actually was able to take all this stuff and tell a complete story about how this went down. (laughs) And it is perfect. It's a long watch. It's almost nine hours long. Yeah. It is it, so worth it, it though. Some time. I'm some telling time. you, watch it. If you can have to it's find someone's man. Disney it's Plus incredible. thing, do it. It's worth it. Now, before we give Ringo his due, let's talk about the reason 
what happened because I don't want to give away all the stuff that happens, but yeah, yeah, there yeah. were a lot of cast of characters involved in the Beatles story at this point, including the what they call Magic Nick or something, the guy they there hired to guys, like man. do all these things, who inevitably I think had a big part in creating a rift between the Beatles. But this guy who supposedly was this great inventor ended up costing the Beatles in the area yeah. about five million pounds in today's money of these stupid idiotic ideas that he claimed he was just a big talker, but he really didn't know anything about anything. And so he was involved. Alan you got, Klein. You've got Yoko Ono. Yoko. And at one point. Right by John's side at that all whole, time. That whole thing about, you know, Paul, going, ah! Paul like, sitting in there. And this was after George had left the group and wouldn't come back. And so they go meet him. And then the Monday comes, and you don't know if anyone's going to show up. Ringo right. shows up on Ringo, time. Ringo, always like first guy there. Chill. Paul then shows cocktail, up. Cocktail, cigarette, yeah. what do you need? Okay, are we done? I'm out. Chill. No drama. Dude. Paul then shows up. And Paul's they, business every time he walks in the door. Because he's trying dressed, to be, He's dressed he's, nicer. He's trying he's, to be. He, he He's trying to keep this dream alive. He, and, he, wants, he wants it the way it was, yeah. but it wasn't going to go back that way because Epstein was the person that controlled him. You can just tell him. he was so, on a, such a different level. Mentally but he wanted. As far as he, 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 knew and, that, he knew that they needed to have someone be the leader. Yeah, he has to be the leader. John was really aloof during this period, and you can yeah, see it. Yeah, they were all. Ringo was a hired gun, and George, George wanted to Harrison's do what, hanging around with some Hare Krishna dude, dude in the corner, yeah, just chilling. Some little Hare weird, Krishna guy just hanging out. Says George's friend. He's like, someone needed to kind of crowd this. And Paul, even though he says I don't want to do this, felt like he had, he had to do to. it because he had someone to. had to do he it. Had to. Somebody else no take one the was wheel. doing it. Somebody else take the wheel, man. Point is, after George walks out, and they're in that Monday after their meeting. Um, it's so sad because you can see his eyes like welling up. Like he's realizing that this is over. It's going, it's just there. And all it took was someone to stand up and say, you know what? Look what we've done for the last yeah. six years. Nah, I'm not going to happen. Look how much we've put out. Let's just take a break. Now, let's let's go our way. Cash cow, man. Take take cash three cow. or four years off. You're right. And I think that is inevitably what happened. Brian Epstein signed them in some horrific deals. They weren't making any money. They were all making movies. They were spending they were money. All, they were man. doing everything they could to make money. And that's probably why they continued to try to do this because they needed the money because they weren't getting any publishing rights. Bring in Alan Klein, who would end up being their manager for three of the Beatles. Paul wanted his wife's brothers, who were attorneys, to represent them. That was really where it came to a head. Crazy, and that's, man. that's Crazy. inevitably where it ended. Now, they would do this, this project... They didn't release it. They got back together later in 69. George Martin said, look, I will help you guys do this, but you have to let me be the boss. If you do that, I'll be a part of it. They said yes. They would record Abbey Road and put it out, and it is phenomenal. It was their last recording. Now, then Alan Klein gets involved. He's like, what are we going to do with all this Let It Be stuff? He doesn't want to, to waste the cash cow, as you said. Glenn John, they probably Glenn John's in, in though, and he did a lot of work. Yeah. Glenn, Glenn, which didn't get any of it. Put on the record. Yeah, like you didn't know he was no, that involved. not at all. And Phil Spector gets he brought in. So that pissed involved. off Paul, and that was it. Yeah, man. We're going to give Ringo his due. He gets his own segment yeah. because it is definitely deserved. Dark Side of the Stream discussing Get Back Next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave. Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens in the studio. Dark Side of the Stream discussing Get Back from the Beatles. Now, I will also, for full disclosure, be the first to say that I have many times in my life Given Ringo Starr a bunch of gruff. I've made fun of yeah, him about I've never his been, yeah. drum solos, like the, the drum Beatle, solo. Like the I just, Beatle, I'm like, that, like dude, the untalented. No. I will no. never again, bro. No, for he the rest of my life, the ladder, man. Ever give Ringo crap? He I will never, ever, man. ever give Ringo crap. He comes across as the coolest cat of them all, man. Just chill. He came in. He did his job. No drama. He Zero never, drama. never caused any problems. When he was asked his opinion, he would give it. Yep. But he was never in there to create problems. He wanted to keep this thing going. He was against, they originally wanted to do, this is pretty cool. They wanted to do this show at a uh, old school, like Greek amphitheater yeah, on the yeah, coast, coast of North down, Africa, do a day show and do a night show. Yeah, he he didn't want to that. travel abroad. But interestingly enough, just a few short years later, a band from England, also known as yeah, the Pink yeah, Floyd, would it. go to Pompeii and do literally exactly what they yeah, were going to yeah, do with yeah. the Beatles in 69, which I had no idea they'd ever, yeah. ever even considered doing it at a at an amphitheater. Yeah, he but Floyd wind. literally did what this they director wanted wind. to do. They must have cut wind. Literally. Literally, uh, exactly also, what they were going to do. Also, in this documentary, we get to meet probably the luckiest man ever born, 
Billy Preston. Yes. Dude shows up just to say hi because he hadn't seen him in a while. Played you know? with him in Germany. He's and, like, he hey. gets, and they go, hey, man, uh, you want to play piano on this song? This is coming around. And then you just see Paul's eyes light up. This is the missing link. They went from three Beatles at one point to now five Beatles. And it was it was. And he's done. just smile, permagrin the whole time. Like, I'm playing with the Beatles. I mean, he uh, saved, uh, they, in essence, it saved, saved his career. Them, he saved the Beatles. Did, he did. saved them and they saved <clears throat> yeah, him because yeah. he was doing some kind of variety show. That's why he was in England. He wasn't doing anything. Shit. He was playing with these guys in Hamburg, and then they'd take off, and he's, he you know, just doing He became the glue thing. of this yeah. dude. It and and w- would go on to have he's some kids, too, after this. He's just smile. But he brought it. And if it wouldn't been for him, they would have never gotten as far as they did, hands down. Oh, God, no. They Same thing with Ringo. It, they wouldn't have made it through. George was done. He was like, I'm dipping out. I'm doing my own stuff. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you at the clubs, you know? He it's was sad. 100% done. Because all it took was someone just to say, hey. Let's walk. Well, Let's just walk. And, you know, they say that, and they talk about the Yoko Ono thing and breaking up the Beatles or whatever, but no, everybody was pretty supportive of her. But man, bringing this chick around and she's making these weird noises. Well, in like, that, at one oh, point God. in that meeting after George leaves, Paul sit, sits there, go, he laughs, and he goes, yeah. you know, it'll be funny. 50 years from now, when they watch this thing back, they're going to be like, what? They broke, over, they broke up over a woman? Yeah. yeah. Because she sat on somebody's amp? Like literally, they are calling it in nineteen six in January of nineteen sixty nine. What will we would be talking about over fifty years <laughs> later? It's unbelievable, badass man. Um, but it is such a good documentary. And again, I implore you. The the thing that it made me want to watch the anthology again. But the anthology just gives you such a really good feeling about the Beatles and like this mythology about what they were as a band, but let it be really is so realistic of what it was at the end. And yeah. And, and you really pieces. get to see where they were. And, and they're wh- goof off. They goof off like crazy. They're on this crazy deadline. They're still just goofing off, rough jamming Doing on the tunes. They're singing funny. And then, but then all of a sudden when they turn it on, it's like, bam, ho, oh, whoa, flawless harmonies. Like, Lennon, Lennon just goofs half to ass the whole time, but when he turns it on, it's like, oh, that's John Lennon It's right so there. crazy, too, because when you see, they did such a good job of that rooftop concert and doing separate angles throughout the entire yeah. performance. Yeah. What happened with the cops going into the uh, Apple, dude, can you Apple imagine being those cops? and then like, trying to like say, no, they're recording an album. It's, yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. And, and, I, and, it, and it happens in real time. And Peter Jackson, man, I cannot thank him enough for putting yeah, in the time to do this. Man. Because if it hadn't been for him, if it hadn't been for him to have his power as a director say i want all this material i'm the guy to do it we would have never had and the way that they digitally enhanced it to make it hd in a 4k tv man it looks like you're there yeah it's so you've never seen the beatles like this before if you have not watched it you're wasting time (laughs) do it we will give you our reviews next dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens back in the studio dark side of the stream Discussing right. get back from the Beatles. Is this going to be the first perfect, perfect, perfect score? Yeah, I was just going to say given? the same thing. I think is this is going to be the first perfect <laughs> I think score. I think how many, uh, what, how many uh, uh, weird Hari Krishna guys are we giving this one? How many weird Hari Krishna, George Harrison friends are we going to put What's the scale? One to five? One yeah, to ten? five for me. Five. It's five. Five. It's five. Hands down. It's, it's the first five out yeah, of five. Yeah, it's our first five. Across the board. Across the board that we agree yeah. on that was... It, it, I'm let never, me ask you this. You know what? And this was I, I'm so mad at myself because I didn't think about this because... You know, whenever there was a, another film that came out recently about another band who I shall not mention, this guy wouldn't shut up about who the greatest band in the world is. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jay Stevens, I ask you this again. Who is the greatest band yeah, in the yeah, world? Well, Beatles, of course. Okay, you know, thank you. Thank you. I, it's not I, Motley Crue. I have, well, no, I have to give you shit about Motley Crue because, yeah. <laughs> I was going to be, okay. as soon as we were, I started watching, I go, you know how yes, I'm going to open overall, this? I'm going to ask him greatest, that question again. Greatest 80s rock band, Motley Crue. Greatest '80s rock band that was only a period for this point. <laughs> Motley Crue, <laughs> Beatles are the greatest. Be- Beatles are the greatest band. That you say? You yeah, say I mean, Beatles? I've always known that. That's the whole reason okay. I started playing guitars because the Beatles. Yeah. You know? I mean, well, it's all, it's a lot of us deal. there, we will always complain and say that. We're the biggest Beatles fans, but I'm the biggest Beatles fan. Jay is the Beatles' big biggest Beatles fan. Jay, I guarantee to you, if Joe Weston was in here with us right now, no, you know what he'd say? He wouldn't. He was the biggest no, Beatles fan. No, he'd say The Clash. No, he would totally. He'd he say almost some, argued he'd with say me talking because he knew that we were going to do this. And he's like, well, I'm, I'm not going to be able to be there. And I was like, I know. I really wish he was here. I wish he was too. Joe, if you're listening, we love you. But love you know you. what? I'm the biggest Beatles fan. Oh, man. Jay's the biggest Beatles yeah. fan. <laughs> anyway, total five. And I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, we got some time. What are we oh, going to watch for right. the next? You're me on the spot. What is the next uh, documentary that we're going to watch? And uh, you got anything? Uh, yeah, me... I, I pull, pull it up on uh, Netflix or what? 
Yeah, I haven't watched it yet, so pull it out. But I just pushed play last night, but I got sidetracked. The, there's a new Tiger not, King, the t- Doc yeah, Antiel story. One. Oh gosh, no, we've no, we we're gonna do King. that. No, Unforget- no, unforgivable. No, it's about a chick uh, dis- disappearing, vanishing, catching killers. No, it should be. Is right it on there. Netflix? New releases. Yes, I just clicked right, it last hold on. night. We're gonna go through this. Tiger King, the Doc, the Doc at two, the Shack, uh, catching killers looks good. The Alpinist. No. Um, dig deeper. Yeah, dig deeper. The disappearance of yep. Bridget Meyer. That's it. That's it. 1989. That's, uh, okay. that's next week. Dig deeper. Uh, it's 1989 should have some good music in yeah, it. Yeah, four episodes. Man, you're going to make me watch four hours no. of this stuff. No. All right, well, it's Jay's pick. A dig deeper. It's on Netflix. You know your deal. Uh, you can always stream these uh, online, live on Facebook, and watch us. Now that we have an actual camera stand that works, Jay's not dropping it. Time. Thank you thank again you. for I'll providing you that. Tonight. Dustin, thank you again for giving uh, Jay that book about Huckleberry Finn. If anybody else wants to see Send free stuff. We'll Obviously, we use it. We will take it again. This is Dark Side of the Stream reminding you we, we watch, watch movies documentaries so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. Now.